Hello everyone, welcome to Akash Institute. In this new video series, we are discussing the counselling processes of different states and UTs of India for NEET 2024. Today's state is Kerala. In this discussion, we will look at the seat matrix, the eligibility criteria and the entire counselling process. You can visit this website for the information on the same. Let's first look at the MBBS seat matrix of Kerala. As you can see, there are 33 colleges and 4,655 seats in them. You can take a look at the map and have an idea how these colleges are distributed throughout this state. Here you have the list of government MBBS colleges. Please note the names, locations and the number of seats in them. Here you have the list 1 of private MBBS colleges. And here you have the list 2 of private MBBS colleges. Again, please do not forget to note the names, locations and the number of seats. Now we will look at the BDS seat matrix of Kerala. There are 27 colleges with 2020 seats in them. Take a look at the map and have a better understanding how these colleges are distributed throughout this state. Here you have the list of BDS colleges. Again, note the names, locations and the number of seats in them. Here you have the list 1 of private BDS colleges and list 2 of private BDS colleges. Again, please do not forget to note the names, locations and the number of seats in them. Now we will discuss the different quota categories of Kerala. The government medical colleges offer 85% of their seats through state quota and that is further divided. 50% goes to state merit quota, 10% goes to EWS, 30% goes to SCBC, 10% goes to SC and ST. The SCBC quota is further divided. 9% goes to Ejava, 8% goes to Muslim candidates, 3% goes to other backward Hindu candidates, 3% goes to Latin Catholic and Anglo Indian candidates, 2% goes to Dhivara and related communities, 2% goes to Biswakarma and related communities, 1% goes to Kusavan and related communities, 1% goes to other backward Christian communities, and 1% goes to Kurumbi candidates. Then there is private medical college. There are community quota which is maximum 50%, NRI quota 15%, All India quota 15% and the remaining goes to state quota. Now we will look at the 2023 cutoff marks of the government MBBS colleges. This was for general, EWS, SC, ST, OBC. Now this is the 2023 MBBS cutoff of private MBBS colleges, general, EWS, SC, OBC and ST. And this is for the deemed universities. This was for general and this was for OBC. For other categories it was not applicable. Now we will look at the different steps of the counselling process. It starts with online registration. The link to the website has been given. Next, publication of state rank, then online choice filling, allotment of seats and then in the end you report at the allotted college. Now we will talk about the eligibility criteria. For the seats reserved for the localites of Kerala, candidate must have the domicile certificate of Kerala or candidate must have passed 8th to 12th class from Kerala or Candidate must have been a resident of Kerala for a period of 5 years within the period of 12 years of his or her study. But please remember this is an open state. So even after exhausting the 15% All India quota, students from other states and UTs can take admission here through the management quota or institutional quota in the private colleges. Now let's look at the list of documents required for counselling. First, academic eligibility mark sheets or certificates, NEET UG admit card and mark sheet, domicile certificate if applicable, category certificate EWS, ACBC, SC, ST if applicable, PWD certificate if applicable, passport size photographs, government ID proof, certificate to prove date of birth. Now what about scholarship? Yes, there is scholarship under post matric scholarship scheme. For whom? For BPL and other candidates. KEM BPL scholarship is given to BPL candidates and SRK Pratiksha Trust scholarship provides scholarship 
for the meritorious and economically backward MBBS students from Kerala. And they offer 60,000 per annum approximately. You can visit these two websites for more information on the same. Now, what about the discontinuation bond in Kerala? There is discontinuation bond in government and self-financing medical and dental colleges only in the state quota seats. For MEBS course, rupees 10 lakh. For BDS course, rupees 5 lakh. We have come to the end of this video. Hope you understood the counselling process of Kerala. Thank you for watching. Thank you.